I'm Roque Friend. Today I'm going to show you how to improve the performance of Overwatch on your computer uh, and trying to keep a good, decent uh, graphic quality. Uh, I didn't find any, like, uh, how can I say, magic trick to improve uh, the performance of this game. It's not like uh, it's on Unreal Engine 4 that you can do some tweak and gain a lot of FPS. So uh, it will be a pretty basic uh, tutorial for people who did, don't understand uh, all the advanced graphics that you can change. First of all, uh, you have an ini file that you can change if you want to play with the text version. So you just have to go to your PC, Documents, Overwatch, and Settings. Double click on it and you will have some of the thing that you can choose in the game. Um, again, I didn't see like normally, for an example, a game like H1Z1 or Decalling, you have some other option that you can change only in the text file. But with um, uh, in Overwatch, I didn't see any uh, specific stuff that you can change by yourself. So but going back to the graphic quality. So first of all, uh, I enabled tri triple buffering. Uh, if you have like a really bad comfy, comfy computer or maybe a, a laptop, uh, you, you should maybe try this one at off. I gained, depending on the map, two to three FPS. So it's it's okay. Don't forget to display performance stats. You will see uh, on the top of your screen, uh, the temperature of your CPU, graphic card, and also uh, your FPS. After that, advance render scale uh, if you have a really bad computer you can go with 50 and 75 but you will see that one decrease a lot the graphic quality of your game so I don't recommend it and also you can fake a better resolution with this with uh, 150 or 200 it's faking uh, like a, I don't know QHD and almost 4k uh, resolution on your uh, 1080p uh, screen you can do pretty much the same thing with your graphic card uh, drivers so you guys can look at it. Uh, texture quality here, I saw two FPS depending on the um, two FPS increase, low to medium, medium to high, so depending on the bracket. But uh, you will see uh, the texture on the game is not looking good. So for that one, don't touch it, even if you have like a mid range computer. Texturing, filtering quality, that one, I, Ultra, and Epic. Those are the main one with medium and low. You will see uh, a decrease in the, your graphic quality, but uh, stay with I. And if you have like a really bad computer, maybe go with medium. Um, local fog detail. I didn't see big difference over there, but you can gain two to three FPS. So that one for sure you can go with low. Uh, you will not see like a, a big change in your graphic quality and uh, you will gain some nice FPS. Dynamic reflection here, you will see a big improvement. So if you don't care about dynamic re reflection, just go with off because Overwatch is like a really fast paced game and probably you will do some competition and it will uh, go like <laughs> all the players that you see on Counter-Strike. They just remove all the details and effects to make sure that they, they have like the perfect performance. So for that one, you will gain a lot of FPS if you put it at low. Same thing with shadow details. For me, shadow is not an important thing. So you can go with off, you will gain I to off six to seven FPS, so that's a lot, uh, and it's not something that, uh, yeah, it improves your graphic quality. But we, when you don't have graphic, uh, you don't have shadow, uh, your graphics still look good without shadow. So for me, it's not like uh, an important thing. Mod model detail here, stay at high. I didn't see a big improvement. One to two FPS for each bracket, depending on the map. It's weird. Um, effect quality for that one. 2 to 3 FPS depending on the bracket. Uh, at medium, you will not see a big uh, decrease of your graphic quality, but low, you will see a big difference. So uh, you can go with medium if you have like a mid range computer. Lighting quality for me, lighting is important in a game. And again, again, if you want performance, you can lower that one. Uh, you will see a big chunk of improvement, but uh, I don't like the. When you go to medium and low, I don't like the effects of the, 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 the lighting. It's like fade. It's not like. It's not looking good. Anti-aliasing, uh, higher ultra, you will not see a big difference between both. Medium, you will s s uh, you will start to see like some like breaking line uh, uh, all around of the the um, objects or whatever tune of the the game. Sorry, I'm French. I'm searching my words sometimes. 
and uh, yeah, if you put off or low, you will see it's, oh, you will see a big decrease in your uh, graphics. So uh, I don't recommend it. Refraction quality didn't see big improvement over there, two to three FPS uh, high to low, and uh, I didn't see the big difference in my uh, graphic quality with the refraction inside of the game. So you should look at it, but uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, local reflection just stay at on didn't change anything and then and then occlusion that one can change a lot of things depending on your graphic card so if you have some problem with your fps just go with off for that one you will uh, you can maybe see a big improvement if you have an old video card so uh, yeah that's about it so if you have any question uh, don't hesitate just comment in the youtube section post your rig and ask for question and also don't forget to subscribe and if i found some stuff that uh, maybe we can tweak with the text document or maybe uh, blizzard will change something uh in the when they will launch the game not the beta version uh maybe i will find something uh, to uh, the magic trick to improve your performance so uh yeah that's about it guys ciao